Hey, welcome, guys. So let's solve these uh, n's magical numbers. Okay, so a positive integer is magical if it's divisible by either a or b, and uh, hopefully this is easy to understand. And uh, given three integers and a b, you need to return the n's magical number since the number is very large and return modulo 10 to the 9 plus 7. Okay, 10 to the 9 plus 7 is not important. So for example, uh, let's say n equals to 1 and uh, a is uh, two and uh, three. Uh, I think you should start from n equals, uh, you should start from one, right? So uh, the set, which is divisible by uh, either A or B is one, two, three, uh, four, and uh, six, and then maybe the next is eight, and the nine, da, da, da. Okay, and then it goes to one, so you, so you pick, uh, so one is now okay, right? So you should start from two, okay? So first one is two. Okay, so n equals to four, uh, two to three should be least, it right? should be six. So this is n equals to four, n equals to one, and uh, two, five, uh, this, this is uh, 10, right? Because uh, uh, let's say two and four is 10. Uh, let's check it. So for two and four, you get uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, right? So 10 is a fifth. Okay, now you can check this is eight. Okay, so uh, how to do this? Uh, this problem is very uh, hard, right? It should be very hard because, uh, I mean, this is the, like elementary school, right? But the problem looks very like an elementary school, right? But how do you determine the, how many of the, uh, how do you determine which end, right? So the, the, I mean, if you use the brute force, then it definitely cannot happen, right? Because the brute force, you need to check that one by one. Okay, and uh, so you cannot do this, right? But let's consider, uh, let's solve another problem first. So let's solve, uh, uh, let's solve a, a problem such that, let's say, uh, given an integer n, and then let's call f of x to be the number of uh, uh, element, number of p, uh, which is uh, uh, which is divisible by, so if this is, uh, so p, number of p, which is p divisible by, uh, divisible by a or b, okay? Such that uh, 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 let's see. Uh, okay, so that then so let me just do this. So I let me define f of x. Define uh, p less or equal to x, such that uh, a divides b or b divides b. Okay, so uh, how can we solve this? Okay, so this is from the elementary school, right? Because uh, uh, you can prove that uh, the element divisible by uh, uh, the element less or equal to x divisible by a is x divided by a. Take the floor and uh, take the floor for b, but you need to minus their difference, right? This is a uh, GCD, greatest common divisor a, b, and least. If you don't know this, then uh, you can prove that this, this is basically a union b is equal to p of a plus b of b minus uh, p of a in the section b. Uh, so P of A means that uh, the element is divisible by A and divisible by B, a set of the element divisible by B and the divisible by both, which is divisible by GCD, and then you can prove this. Okay. Okay, so once you have this, then uh, you you then you then it's very easy, right? Because you can do the binary search. You do a binary search. Okay, so you you so you need to find what you so you hope to find f of x such that uh, this x is exactly n, right? So any atom, so there is exactly n of the elements which that's or equal to it, it and it's so uh, divisible by this. So x is our answer, right? X is our answer. Okay, and, uh, and the, the goal is that uh, once you, uh, uh, you, once you x minus a different, uh, minus one, then you are less than n, right? So this is the exactly the binary search that uh, you need to find the element that which satisfies this equation, but then when x slower a little bit, then 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 you will become then it will not be the answer. Okay, so how should we do for the upper bound and lower bound? Okay, so we should take the l zero, which is a left to be uh let's say take l zero to be one zero uh zero, one and uh, the what then what is the right? So right can be choose to be n times a minimum a b. Right, because I, in the minimum a b, uh, after r zero greater than minimum a b, there uh, there must be the answer, right? So the answer must must be between these. Okay, so you can use this to do a binary search, and the uh, the search function is defined to be this f of x. 
Okay, so the idea is that uh, you define the mod and uh, this is a GCD and you define L. Uh, so this A uh, L just for uh, for convenience. Okay. Uh oh, sorry, I'm stupid. Sorry, I'm stupid. This is not GCD. This is LCM. Right? This is the least uh, common divisor. Uh, sorry, the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of A B. Uh, in your uh. High school, you can prove that this is a GCD AB. So A times B divided by GCD. Okay. And then you start from zero and N times minimum AB. And if L less than uh, left, less than right, you define minimum. So if the minimum less than N, this means that uh, we should go up, right? So L equals to minimum plus one. Otherwise, that high goes to minimum, right? Because I'm not sure uh, where the difference is. One, one, once it minus one, it may not be an answer. Right, so this is the order step. Okay, and then you finally get the, get the, your results and then by uh, changing into integer. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's see you guys uh, next videos.